Hello and welcome. Today we are going to look at virtualization networking. I have here a laptop which is connected by Wi-Fi uh, to a router that goes to internet. This is the typical configuration of a small office or that you have at your home. You see that you can connect to a printer as well. So now what's going on with virtualization and networking? I have here on the laptop created a virtual machine. Uh, for these demos, I'm using VirtualBox. The virtual machine is called Client 10. And with Client 10, I'm going to the internet. So how does this work? So for that, I have a connection between my virtual machine and the physical part of the laptop. And there I'm using NAT, the network address translation. It's through that that I can really access internet. So now let's look a bit more into the details how this works. So as you see, the router has an IP address 192.168.1.1 and my laptop is connected and receives from the router the IP address 192.168.1.14 by DHCP and it's the router that is the DHCP server. So now, when I look closer at my client, I see that my client has, has as IP address the 10.0.2.15, which is in a completely different network. And uh, the internal interface of my laptop got the IP address 10.0.2.2. So what does it mean? It's that the virtualization software, which is on the laptop, is handling the DHCP request from my client. And it's performing not at the level of the laptop. It's due to this condition that from my laptop, I can really access the internet. Here I am on client 10 and I'm going to check what I can ping. So I will ping first the default router and as you can see I can really ping it. If now I want to ping something on internet it's ping google.com I can also ping it. If now I check the configuration at the level of my virtual client virtual host, you will see that I really have here as IP address here up the 10.0.2.15 and my default gateway is the 10.0.2.2. So if I try to ping the 10.0.2.2, you will see that I can ping it and in fact this is my laptop on which I have my virtual machines. With that configuration, we see here that uh, at the printer level, I can see the printer which is on the main network. So with that configuration, I could print. Let's now have a look at the configuration of the VirtualBox environment. My virtual machine is running. It is here. So I go to settings. Then here down, I go to network settings. And you see it's simply defined here as NAT. So you don't have to do anything else. If, in that case, it still doesn't work, is the firewall settings and disable the firewall on that server. To show you that we can really access the, the web, I will here open a new window in my browser and go on YouTube, which is uh, our channel. With that, we have seen the networking part, which is simple, the NAT, which is present on your system. I think that with this, we reviewed the general concept of virtualization networking through NAT. We've seen how it can ping different elements, and we've seen how to configure it. So I wish you a good time. Uh, you can react to this video, you can subscribe, and some bap and all what is left to me it's to wish you a good time see you soon bye